and welcome to Sendai Station at 6 a.m. I am going on a trip with Ryotaro, who very kindly invited me to Iwate, which is my favorite prefecture tied with Yamagata. So I'm very excited to be taking you guys there today. And we're gonna be trying out some of the local foods and doing some activities that you can only do in Iwate, so hopefully you guys enjoy. So Ryotaro taught me that you can put Shinkansen tickets onto your Pasmo card now, which is super handy, especially when it's really busy and you're worried you're not gonna get a seat. It's not at 6 a.m., there's I'm nobody worried. here, but... <laughs> That's exciting, that is so handy. And then you come over to this machine here and you tap your card. There it is, there's our ticket. Print. I don't normally drink these, but I'm gonna need an energy drink this morning. So when we arrive in Ninohe, Ryotaro and I are going to split up and go on two separate adventures. I'll have his video linked down below, so go check it out when you're done watching this one. But I'm off to meet a local craftsman who's going to teach me how to make chopsticks. And then later on tonight, we're gonna get back together and meet up at a hotel, which is known for being super haunted. I have come to Craft Plum, which is a really cute workshop, and I'm gonna be making some chopsticks using a special kind of wood that is mainly found here in Iwate. It grows so slowly that the tree grows in size one millimeter every three years. So it takes forever to grow the supplies needed to make these chopsticks. So they're super fancy, and um, I'm really excited to try it out. This is a せんね。ここにこの Two types of sandpaper here. This one is more coarse. This one is finer. We are going to finish off this pair of chopsticks and I'll be able to take them home, which is wonderful because I needed some chopsticks. I lost my pair. I don't know where they went. あ、角って落ちやすいんで、まあ、こういう風にでもいいし。あ、400度ぐらいになるものがありますね。はい。それでこう、こういう風にあの焦がして、自分の名前とか何でもこう模様でも何でも。We're going to practice on some practice chopsticks first and then I will do the real thing and hopefully not ruin my chopsticks that I've nicely polished. うん。感じやめよう。アルファベットで。はい、できました。ありがとうございました。楽しみにしてます。Thank you. Bye bye. All right, after a little drive, I've just arrived at my Ryokan for the night. I'll be staying at Yokohu so in. I've actually been here before. I came here to take photos once. It's known for being haunted. I've never filmed a video here, so this will be my first time trying to capture something on video. I'm really looking forward to a hot bath because it's really cold here in Iwate. Yokufuso Inn is said to be the home of a Zashiki Warashi, or a house spirit. These spirits are believed to bring great fortune to those whose houses they haunt, or in this case, those who are able to catch a sighting of the spirit. Zashiki Warashi appear as ghostly children, and the one that lives in this hotel is known to have the appearance of a little boy. 
visitors from across Japan have been known to travel to Iwate just to stay at this hotel in hopes that they'll be lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the resident Zashiki Warashi. Let me give you guys a quick tour of my room for the night. I have two single beds all to myself with very fluffy comforters. They look very comfy. That is a humidifier. The air in Japan gets very dry in the winter because we use the heater all night long because it's very cold. I think the temperature outside is about three degrees Celsius here. Got the washroom. Fancy toilet with buttons like usual. There is a little sink area here. What you will notice is that, oh, that's Yotaro, that this room does not have a shower. Over here we have a washitsu. Guess we better see what Yotaro wants. Cool, let's meet at dinner at 6.30. Sorry about that, back to the tour. So there's a little room here for relaxing in and the lady said that there is some tea over here in the corner, which sounds great right now because I'm freezing. And then as always, they give you a little welcome snack. This ryokan has warashi no sato manju. These are always really nice with green tea, so I'll have that in a second. But I actually stopped by the roadside station and grabbed myself some of my favorite snack that you can only get up here in Iwate, these spiral karinto. These normally come in a different shape, they're a very popular Japanese snack, but in Iwate they make them in this flat spiral shape and they taste a lot better. This is actually a special flavor, Yamabudo, wild grapes that are grown up here in the mountains. In here I believe there is a yukata that I can wear if I want to go down and have a bath in the onsen, an obi to tie it. Well, I'm gonna make myself some tea and relax for an hour and a half. I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't get into bed until 2 a.m. And then at 3 a.m. there was a really big earthquake that woke me up. And then I had to wake up at four to get ready anyways. So I just didn't bother going to sleep again after. <laughs> so I didn't really sleep last night. I'm probably just gonna have a tea, eat some of these karinto, try those out and then take a little nap before dinner. It smells like a regular cutting toe. I don't really smell anything grape scented. I don't taste grapes at all. This actually tastes like a healthier version. The ones that I normally get are very obviously deep fried and they have like this sugar glaze on them. These ones kind of seem baked. Like they're not as oily. Delicious nonetheless. I'm gonna have my little tea and snack here and then take a nap for about an hour and I will see you guys when I meet up with Ryotaro. Bye for now. Now we're waiting to have dinner and we're just chilling in the lobby area and we're watching the TV screen because They're it's playing like a slideshow slide show. of all the ghost pictures that people have taken at this hotel. It's just lots of orbs and for most of them you can just say like, oh, it was just dirt in the Snow. air but sometimes there's so many of them that it's just weird. We're gonna meet up again after dinner. At 8.30, they'll turn all the lights off in the lobby the area, the whole, whole, the whole hotel. They encourage people to roam around the after hotel. dark. Yeah, I mean, then we'll keep filming and see what will come out. Yeah. It's either the dirtiest room in the world or the most haunted. This one. Both of them suck. All so, the photos look like that. What? Yeah. So this is what happens. This is what would happen to you if you had been a good girl. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a yeah. good thing that he will make you prosperous right. forever. So people come here and they hope to meet him. Yeah, hope to meet him. It's not like yeah. a scary ghost. No. I don't know. I mean, he did not appear in front of me, but instead he like... He knocked over the bird. The, 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 yeah, he flipped over the bird down the floor. Did you get really what? rich after that? Not really. <laughs> All right, it's 8.30. I'm just waiting for Ryotaro to come out and meet me, but as you can see, they've made the Ryokan really dark. <laughs> they've turned off the lights and set up little candles in the hallway. It's nice. Creepy, but nice. I found Ryotaro. So this room here is where he often appears. He's gonna go outside to the shrine. There's a shrine out there. Shrine out there. And I'm gonna walk around the building here and we're gonna see if anything shows up in our footage. Anyone who noticed that there's something just comment below. Yeah, let yeah. us know if you see something. We might miss it. Yeah, we might. 
All right, I'm gonna start by walking around this main room. This is the room where the majority of the photos of the spirit have been taken. If we're gonna see anything, it would probably be in this room. Once I meet up with Yotaro again, I wanna flip through the guest book with you guys. They have a notebook in this room where all the guests can leave the stories of the experiences they've had with the ghost when they stayed here. There's some pretty creepy ones in there. Let's read that together when he gets back. For now, let's film this room, see if we see anything. I didn't see anything while I was in there. Maybe you guys saw something in the footage. Let's move on to the next room next door, which is a lot bigger. So this is actually the room where Chris and Nyotaro got the footage of the bird falling off the shelf by itself, which was kind of creepy because I went and picked up the bird earlier today to see if it was just really light and would like fall over easily by itself. And they're not, they're really, heavy and like sturdy so it's really interesting that that bird just fell over while they were filming what do you guys think do you believe in spirits like this and would you want to stay at this hotel either way it's pretty fun roaming around after dark with all the other guests everybody's pretty like excited about running into the spirit so i do have fun every time i stay here and i would recommend it just for a really unique hotel experience in japan i'm also gonna take some photos with my phone because it seems like the majority of times people were able to capture the spirit. It was in photos. Let's see how Diotaro is getting on. Okay, this place is a bit creepy in the dark. This is supposed to be the shrine where the Kamemaro, the mm. little boy, the mm. Tashikiwarashi, escaped into when there was a fire. All right, Yotaro's going back inside and leaving me alone out here to explore the shrine. This place was kind of cool. Every picture that people took of the Tori gates here, there was one big orb right in the center. So many different photographs and they all had the same big orb. So I'm definitely gonna take some photos like that and see if we see anything too. Oh, that's the boy. That's the ghost. All right, I think I'm gonna go back inside. I'm freezing and it is a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Being out here in a shrine alone at nighttime. So this is the notebook I told you guys about that the guests leave their stories in. There's so many stories inside. There's some freaky ones. Was it you, Kamemaro-kun? <laughs> and this is just one of the thousands uh, like notes. That yeah. I this is not only notebook, there are like 20 There's of them. There's so many of them, right? Yeah, and uh, if it's not only one person writing something like this, uh, I would just be, okay, just kind of crazy person, right? Yeah. But no, it's not. It's so like you see like, so many of them. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See if there's. Did you take some? Our photos, yeah. Our yeah. Photos. Let's see if there's see. anything in your photo. Do you see anything? Mm. No. The ones in the photos we saw were like, so obvious. They're like, huge. Just an orb right yeah. here. And there's another one right there as well. And you might think, oh, it's just like two orbs, two circles. Like yeah. you might just get a flash or whatever. 
It's not because this happens to every photo. And it's always just like one big one or lots. Yeah. It's either like one yeah. very obvious one or like a hundred. <laughs> and then people think that when there's an orb, that means that the board is here. Yeah. Do you ever take like these kind of pictures? Have you like? Mm, I did once at the grave of Tokugawa Ieyasu, and there's like a spiral on top really? of the grave. Yeah. Well, so the, well, I think that that's kind of one of the orbs, I guess. I don't know. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Oh, there, you go. there you go. That's so it. This, creepy. This. So, what do you guys think of this one? Like most people, just pass off orbs as dust, but like, what's going on here? What? <laughs> There's orb, right? Uh huh. Um, this guy's leg, but uh -huh. but 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 more than his, <laughs> his zippers are open. <laughs> Maybe he was that the boy was playing with his trousers and just put it down. Why did he allow <laughs> this to be printed? I came all the way out here to the coast, and I was gonna go on a little boat trip with you guys. You can hire a fishing boat, um, and a fisherman will drive you around the coast. You can check out the views of the cliffs. It's super beautiful, but I don't know if you can tell, the waves are crazy at the moment. Like, they're huge. They were coming over this wall a second ago, and I was talking to the fisherman. He agreed and said, we definitely should not be riding a boat in these conditions. So unfortunately, I can't take you guys on the boat tour, but yeah, normally you can reserve ahead of time and go on about a two hour trip throughout the waters here. It's super fun. The fishermen are really friendly. So instead of the boat trip, uh, we're just gonna head straight to lunch and meet up with Ryotaro again. We're going to a very interesting hotel for lunch, actually. It's probably the only place of its kind in Japan. You'll see why in a sec. I spotted this really cool shrine on the way down to the boats. Thought we could check it out before we head off to lunch. Wow, okay, you can see the waves <laughs> from up here. I really didn't want to be riding a little fishing boat <laughs> in that. Look at that, that's wild. Okay, back in the car, it's very cold. <laughs> Hello again, Yotaro. We have met up at the again, Mystery Hotel. Mystery Hotel, yes. So tell everybody what's so special about oh. this place. All right, we are in this place called uh, Tomaya. It's another Japanese inn. Oh, we're just having lunch here this time. We can only have lunch, that's okay too. But the uh, so strange thing about this place is that you can only reserve it via letter, like postal like hand letter, handwritten letter. Hand letter. Written letter. No telephone calls, no, no email, emails, no online site, no fax. <laughs> so you need to like send them a letter saying that I like to reserve, you know, a room with a five people or four people, whatever. But we're right. sitting in front of the Idori. They're smoking some persimmons up here. Mm -hmm. Are those to eat or just decoration? Uh, that these are to eat. Never had smoked persimmon. <laughs> well, it sounds good though. So we need to be really careful, like where to like, where to sit, because <laughs> otherwise yeah. you'll be like oh. the smoke's going in that direction. Yeah. So <laughs> um, I feel like here. I'm already like being like a smoked Yotaro already. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Wow, so lunch has been served. So these are piman, which are stuffed with um, tofu and potato, I think he said. And there's a savory sauce on top, some rice and pumpkin, miso soup. And what do you have? Um, wild boar and deer. A wild boar and deer? Deer, yeah. Oh. So it's like uh, um, animals oh, cool. that speak. Yeah, I mean, there are too many. Yeah. Deers and boars are out here and then they actually eat the um, all the crops and stuff. Right. So there are like certain numbers allowed to like hunt. The hunters hunt them and they actually uh, will be served like this oh, right. in the end. Mm. I was craving potatoes. This is perfect. <laughs> you don't eat potatoes very often in Japan. Mm. So I'm always excited when I get them. Once we finished our lunch, we headed back to the car for another trip through the mountains to Ninohe, where we stopped by Tudor Chocolate Factory, which is famous for their chocolates. However, I would like to introduce you to one of their other products, which is one of my all-time favorite Japanese snacks, and it's famous in this particular region of North Japan, Nambu Senbei.
Over here they have all the different flavors of sembe. Yeah. Their selection is wild. I think they have like 14 different flavors yeah, here. More than that, maybe. My personal favorite what is, is it? probably peanut. They yeah. actually call them mame sembe, yeah. which is like a bean sembe, but it's peanuts. Peanuts. It's not beans. They kind of remind me of a peanut butter cookie. So instead of using rice, these sembe are made with wheat. So it is kind of like a cookie. Another nice one. Apple. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, They're what not is it? all sweet. What is it? Is it? Are... Sembe. Squid. Squid. Squid on top. Squid, squid sure. pieces squid with squid on, on top. top. Even more flavors over here. This oh, one's oh, your favorite, oh, oh, isn't oh. it? It's like sesame sembe yeah. covered with white chocolate. Yeah, this one is quite is delicious. This, this is, is very probably good. osusume from both of us. Oh, definitely. I this is our like, yeah, yeah. One. And they're only one dollar. Ice cream. <laughs> Yotaro has been talking about this ice cream the entire forever. trip. <laughs> forever. This is like a three dollars, and this is like a five dollars. Got like senbei, senbei with it chocolate up sauce and underneath. Chocolate sauce. Yeah. yeah. And instead of the soy sauce flavored uh, senbei, this one comes with my favorite ah, the white, white chocolate. chocolate covered senbei. <laughs> It's a perfect combination. White chocolate with black chocolate. Wow. No other ice cream can beat this, even with Hagen does. Really? Ooh, wow. big words. And that is it for our Iwate trip. Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a good time, but I don't want to end. <laughs> you don't want to go home? <laughs> so I don't want to I, I enjoyed my beef. I ate lots of good stuff on this trip. The food was certainly a highlight. So please do come out to Iwate when you get a chance. I think the people would be very excited yeah. to have some foreign visitors yeah. here. Um, I will link Yotaro's video down below. You can check out his two days of beef adventure. Beefy tour. <laughs> down below <laughs> the description box. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye see for now. Ya, bye.